My dear friends, welcome to Rajashekar classes on Applied Data Science with Python. This is lecture number 192. In this lecture, we will try to understand logistic regression. Also, we will try to understand difference between logistic regression. Let me write otherwise. We will try to understand difference between logistic regression and linear regression. Isn't it? I already discussed about linear regression. Isn't it? Now, we will try to compare this logistic regression and linear regression. In the case of linear regression, let me say like this, if it is linear regression, both independent variable and let me say independent variable independent variable and dependent variable we studied what is independent variable what is dependent variable in the case of linear regression which we discussed in in previous lectures both the variables, both the variables in the sense dependent variable and independent variable are continuous. The both the we discuss these type of examples in which both independent and dependent variables are continuous. If the independent variable is categorical variable, there may be case there may be occasion, there may be occasion, there may be instance where your independent variable may be categorical data. What type of data? Categorical, categorical data. In that case, if it is, if your independent variable is categorical data, I must make use a regression known as dummy variable regression dummy variable regression. What is this dummy variable regression? I will discuss in future classes. Here you must understand in the case of linear regression, in general, independent variable, dependent variable, both are continuous, but there may be possibility that if independent variable is categorical data, in that case, I must make use dummy variable regression. I will discuss about this particular dummy variable regression in future classes. There, there may be possibility that even the dependent variable may be a some categorical variable. In that case, you should go for logistic regression. This point you must understand. Let me say like this. Otherwise, in the case of logistic regression, what happens? If you are dependent variable, let me write, if you are dependent variable, if you are dependent variable is categorical, if this uh, ca oh, categorical variable, if this dependent variable is categorical variable, in that case, in that case, I must make use linear regression. You should go for, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, uh, if your dependent variable is categorical variable, in that case, you must go for logistic regression. We will try to understand logistic regression with the help of simple example. In many regression applications, the dependent variable may only assume two discrete values. For example, the linear regression, in the case of linear regression, as I told you, the dependent variable is continuous variable. Independent variable is also continuous, but sometimes what may happen, the dependent variable may be discrete variable. For example, if your dependent variable is discrete variable, discrete variable means, uh, I, I can say like this, Yes, your if dependent variable is discrete variable. Discrete variable means, let me say, otherwise I will write, your dependent variable is discrete variable or I can say categorical variable. For example, gender. 
gender is categorical variable isn't this isn't it what is gender gender means may be male or female this if you were dependent variable is categorical variable or discrete variable i must make use logistic regression even uh, success or failure isn't it success how many possibilities are there success or failure there are only two possibilities this there are only two categories if your dependent variable is success or failure in that case i must make use logistic regression so y value you must you, you must observe y value y value means what dependent variable what's happening in linear regression let me say in linear regression let me write like this in linear regression y equal to a plus b1 x1 plus b2 x2 if x1 comma x2 are independent variables this x1 and x2 these are known as independent variables you must understand these are independent variables and what is your y y is dependent variable it is dependent variable isn't it let me say let me repeat if x1 x2 are independent variable y is dependent variable if x1 is categorical data x1 means what if your independent variable is categorical data what is categorical data categorical data in the sense that may be gender that may be success or failure isn't it if your x1 is categorical data then we should go for if your x1 is categorical data then you must go as i told i already to, i already discussed you in that case you must go for dummy variable regression i am repeating same point again and again why because this concept is very important therefore i am repeat i am emphasizing this particular point when can i go, when can i opt this dummy variable regression if you were independent variable is if your independent variable is categorical data i must go to i must opt for dummy variable regression as i told you i will discuss about this dummy variable regression in future classes sometimes the the dependent variable may have some categorical data here question is if your dependent variable if your y is categorical data what happens if y is categorical data categorical data means that may take two possible values 0 or 1 it may be gender as i told you that categorical data means gender gender means there are two possibilities male or female isn't it male or female it may be quality of the product what is quality of the product quality there are two possibilities quality of the product this is also i can say categorical data quality of the product means that may be good quality or bad quality means your dependent variable takes two possible values two categories good or bad or male or female or success or failure whether the person will buy product or not buy buy whether the person will buy the product or not buy what how many possibilities are there there are two possibilities if your dependent variable is a categorical data in that case whether whether there is two options may be um, categorical that time in that case if your dependent variable is a categorical variable in that case i must go for logistic regression i think one can understand just go through this certainly one can understand is it for example there are two possibilities happy or bad uh, happy or sad how many possibilities are there there may be happy there may be sad there are two possibilities in that can, uh, if your dependent variable takes two possible values sad or happy or sad uh, buying the product or not buying the product success or failure if your dependent variable is categorical data in that case you must go for you must go for logistic regression for instance a bank might take to develop an estimated regression equation for predicting whether whether a person whether a person whether a person will be approved for 
credit card or not there are two possibilities approve approved the credit card or not if your depend dependent variable is approval of credit card in that case i must go for logistic regression here the y y means the dependent variable is a person will will be approved for getting credit card or not if there are two possibilities then we should go for logistic regression the dependent variable can be coded as y equal to 1 how can i code this one let me say my dependent variable is y it it is coded as y equal to 1 if the bank approves the request for the credit card y equal to 0 if the bank reject if the bank rejects the request for the credit card up that may be credit card may be approved credit card may be approved or may be rejected if your dependent variable takes these two possible values i can say i must go for logistic regression using logistic regression we can estimate the probability that the bank will approve the request of a credit card given a particular set of values for the chosen independent variables this may be this may be applicable when you go for applying a loan whether the person will repay the loan or not how many possibilities are there there are two possibilities he may he may repay the loan he may not he may not repay the loan as there are two possibilities i must apply if you i must apply uh, logistic regression because there are two possibilities so you can make use logistic regression somebody is applying for a job somebody is applying for a job whether whether he will get the job or whether he will not get the job how many possibilities are there if your dependent variable is getting um, if the if your dependent variable takes two possible values getting a job or not getting a job then i can say i must make use logistic regression for that purpose you can go for logistic regression whether in the in the context of a btech final year student whether he get placement or not getting the placement how many possibilities are there there are two possibilities if your dependent variable takes getting a placement or not getting a placement in that case i can say i must make use i must make use logistic regression so what kind of independent variables will help you to get the placement that, that this kind of problems can be solved with the help of this logistic regression model i will discuss about this logistic regression model in my next lecture that is in lecture number 193 with simple example thank you very much just go through this lecture this lecture explains the need for logistic regression here you must understand if your dependent variable is a categorical variable in that case i cannot apply linear regression i must go to logistic regression thank you very much